So you want to level up your weapon in Modern Warfare 3 super super fast. You want to level up your player, yourself, super super fast. Well today guys I have you covered with a couple of strats in which you can use to get this done. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay so first things first. I feel the quickest way for people who are actually semi-decent at the game in regards to leveling weapons up is to play Hardcore Domination, Hard Points or Kill Confirmed with those double XP tokens on. I mean yes I know uh, these double XP tokens are bugs for some people or some people have already used those double XP tokens so they don't have access to them but even still guys Playing these mods, which actually don't have to be hardcore, in my opinion, just makes it a little easier. These are the quickest way to earn XP, in my opinion. So yes, hardcore, domination, hard point, kill confirmed. These, in my opinion, are a great way to earn you XP for not only your own level, but for your weapons too. Because defending points, capturing points, staying on said points, whether this is hard point, domination, etc, etc, earns you an absolute ton of XP. And in doing this guys, also remember there are different kills which will earn you even more XP, long shots, headshots, moot kills, etc, etc. This is why I suggest you doing it in hardcore as it's much easier to achieve these. Now kill confirmed, also great for that XP, grabbing your tags alone will give you what, 250 XP, double that up with those double XP tokens, that's 500 XP guys, just for a simple thing like grabbing your own tags. Now taking advantage of actually playing the point in hardcore within domination, hard point or even kill confirmed can earn even the average player almost a max leveled weapon within a single game. I know it sounds crazy but trust me guys if you play the point within these modes it isn't impossible. Especially if it's a smaller map, it's close quarters and you do have those double XP tokens activated. And yes, I know people look for the fastest ways to level up weapons with minimal play, which is what we all love. Well, it is important to state that actually playing the game, playing the objective is the quickest way to level up weapons in this game. Unless there's some game breaking exploits or glitches which allow you to just earn XP at a ridiculous rate. Now, another few tips and tricks you can use to earn XP if you plan on taking advantage of this first method I'm talking about in playing the point, playing the objective within that hardcore domination, hard point or kill confirmed, is those decoy grenades. These things still give you great XP as they did in previous games. So if you have that engineer vest on, apply this, two decoy grenades, tons of XP, absolutely crazy. Also guys, the field upgrade of the ACS, this is one I haven't seen many people talk about. This thing will capture points for you while you defend that said point from a different angle. A great way to earn XP for yourself and those weapons. So yes, keep this in mind too. But again guys, playing the game and being smart about it is a great way to earn that XP. Also remember, daily challenges. Get through these to unlock the daily bonus challenge which you can do over and over again until that day passes this is another great way to earn yourself some good xp especially if that bonus challenge is one you can do efficiently now another method i have seen people talking about and doing is within zombies and all of this does earn you easy xp with minimal work without having to worry about other players taking you out I will say I don't think this earns you as much XP as playing the actual game but it is still great in my opinion. So how this works is quite simple and it works so within zombies. So you obviously want to start with zombies but firstly you want to select the weapon you want to level up. I'd also guys if you can then put a right shield on your back. This will give you a little extra cover in regards to zombies biting your ass. I'd then if I were you use a stim in your tactical. This can come in very handy indeed, as you would imagine, playing zombies, running away from them. Now, if in your lethal, I wouldn't worry too much about this. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Use what you want here. Now, it's very, very important, guys, that within your field upgrade, you use the energy mine. This comes in very, very handy in taking out mass amounts of zombies, which is what this method more or less consists of. Now, again, double XP tokens make this method a whole lot quicker. And while without them, in my opinion, it just isn't as effective and efficient in regards to earning that XP as you would want. I mean, if you haven't got double XP tokens, you can try this, guys. Try and work with it. 
and see what the results are for you in regards to earning that XP. But in my opinion, I don't think it will be as efficient. And I think players will probably get bored of doing this if you haven't got those double XP tokens on or means of earning easy and fast XP bonuses. So yes, try it out again and let everybody else know. So once you are set up for this guys, this is how it's done. And it can be done in a team by the way, but in my opinion it's way quicker and works better if you do this as a solo player, as other players are just going to be taking your kills, therefore meaning you earn less XP. So if I were you, turn those squads off. So now guys, start up zombies. Now your main goal here is to find the exfil spot. But while doing this, you want to loot those plates and also to be safe and just, well, you know, make it easier on yourself. It's not necessary, but if you can get yourself a self revive, this will be absolutely amazing just in case. I mean, it isn't necessary, you don't need these things. And because we're going to be gathering up loads of zombies and killing them anyway, they can drop various items, which we'll talk about in a quick second, which will help you along your way. So these ain't necessary for you to farm before you start doing this, but hey, do what you gotta do. So yes, now you wanna find and locate that exfil spot. Now, once you're at this point, guys, you want to trigger that exfil and then just wait around. What you will notice is a whole heap of zombies will start to appear. Now, when I say wait around, I don't mean wait around for them to attack you. I mean wait around just either taking them out or rounding them up. Now, guys, you can just take these out with your weapon. They will drop all sorts of useful items uh, for you, including those green glowing things. These drop one-off advanced items, much, much better items, which will be super useful for you and will help your case here. But what I would say is, I mean, you're taking these zombies out as they are spawning in. Another method you can do is round these zombies up, which is what I like to do, and then taking them out with that energy in mind. This you will see all that juicy XP pop up on your screen within one goal. I mean, this is a faster way in taking the zombies out. But in regards to you having to round them all up first or taking them out as you see them, I mean, you make your mind up or even test it to see which is the fastest way and the most efficient way for you. But what I like to do, like I said, is take them out with that mind and just see them all just splatter. But hey, you do what you got to do, guys. Now, what I will say is you're obviously activating that exfil because you want the helicopter to come in and land. Now, you do not want to jump on this helicopter. You do not want to exfil. You want to stay here and farm more XP. So just wait for the helicopter to fly off, but make sure your feet are still on the ground. From here, guys, you just want to quickly leave the area and then come back. This is a quicker method in being able to call the exfil chopper back in quicker. I mean, if you just wait on the spot, I feel it takes longer for that flare to pop back up, giving you the ability to call back in that chopper. So do what you got to do here, guys. But again, once you're able to call in that chopper again to exfil, Again, more and more zombies will spawn in for you to repeat this process. And you can do this, guys, until you're bored, fed up, until your heart's content. It's completely up to you. What I will say is a 30-minute uh, double XP token should be more than enough for you to max out a weapon. I mean, it may, like I said, try it and test it. There will be more efficient ways in even doing this and running these zombies up. But it just, it's just about trying and testing. It is a great way to earn XP. Again, without those double XP tokens, in my opinion, it isn't as efficient as what people will want. I wouldn't say so anyway, but again, it's a chill farm. It's a chill XP farm. It's going to be no stress on you whatsoever. So just do what you got to do, guys, and take advantage of it while you can. But yes, two great ways to earn XP within Modern Warfare 3. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.